Hi everyone, my name is Larry Snow and today's video we're going to be taking a look at a platform, a very powerful platform called MapD. And what MapD is, is a, is a platform that uses graphical processing units different than CPU, which is a central processing unit. So it uses the graphic elements exclusively to create very powerful visual data sets, millions of data sets in milliseconds. So let's get started taking a look at MAPD. So I'm over here on the MAPD websites. It's mapd.com and that will take you through to a, uh, a website and then you click over on the demo section and then that's where we're here on the tweet map demo of MAPD. So right off the bat, we get this visualization. They have these predefined colors. Uh, in this case, they're talking about language. Now over on the United States, it's all blue because that's English. You see the language bar down the bottom there. And then you can see these predefined colors over all of these countries. Isn't that cool? And then under language, they also have source. So they have, they have this data that tells you the source of the people that are uh, tweeting these are all tweets it's a tweet map right so they have people who are on ios and you can see the diversity of that it goes from the united states over to europe and 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 england and then we can zoom down or we can mouse over these but we can zoom in to these little dots that we have all over the eastern seaboard zoom right down into new york city where it's just a plethora of color and uh you can just mouse over these little dots and see what people are talking about in that particular area. Now they also have this thing called a chloropath map. You mouse over, you click on that. It will tell you uh, where people are most tweeting from. And so the lighter colors, people aren't tweeting as much. The darker colors, people are tweeting a lot. So that's a nice indicator as well. And it also tells you the number of tweets in those specific areas. And this is over a time frame from May 5th to July 25th, 2017. And it has a total tweet uh, account, total tweet amount of 395,356,000. So over on the right hand side, we have the top hashtags and we have uh, some of the tweets that people are talking about all over the world. And if we were to scroll in to a particular area, let's just click on, uh, let's go back to our point map. Scroll back in over to New York City. And you notice that the top hashtags are changing as we move around and scroll in. So now we're on Asbury Park and now we're back on New York. So we'll just, let's see, uh, New York City, diabetes, traffic. So. As we move around the map, the top hashtags are changing for that particular area. And also the tweets are changing in that area as well. As you can imagine, there are quite a, a lot of tweets going on right now in New York City, right in Manhattan. So let's just do a do our usual terrorism search. And it will search in this area that we have on the screen. Now as I zoom out, the data will get more and more and more. The uh, tweets will get more and more and more. So you have your tweets over here focused on the, the keyword that we're using. And if we move in again, the tweets change. Now I notice here some of the dates are 518, 512, but if we were to move this little handle over here, Move that handle down towards more to July 4th and forward and zoom out a little bit. You're going to see that the tweet dates have actually changed. And so now that we're starting at 7-4 instead of 5-18, 5-17. So you can adjust that day scale down the bottom there. And right now we're looking at a total of 116 tweets out of a snapshot of 395 million. And if we continue to zoom out, that number will increase here down on the bottom right-hand side. You'll see that increase. So I love this tool. I love playing around with the data. I love looking at how the different dynamics of the countries 
uh, talking using uh, specific uh, uh, iOS or you know devices. Um, I love the fluidity of looking at this data and how it just changes right on the fly as you're zooming in and zooming out and moving around the world. Fantastic resource. I highly recommend checking out mapd.com, clicking on the tweet map demo, and you'll go to town on all this data. If you like data like I do and getting in there and, and looking at all this stuff, uh, looking at all of these data points, fantastic resource. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. More importantly, post in the comments below if this is something that you enjoyed. Therefore, I'll know to do more videos like it. If you want to know more about me, go to LarrySnow.me where you'll find articles on social media, marketing, and security, and maybe a little WordPress. And I'll see you in the next video.